Please give a warm welcome to Buford's own Teresa Bruce. Thank you. I hope all of you had a chance to go out and see the work of the documentary finalists over the past few days. From slavery in North Africa to the secrets of our own sea islands, they span the entire continuum of the art form. And I say art form deliberately because the best documentaries are truly artful. They seduce us into caring, not about an imaginary world, but the real world, the only one we have. They don't have the luxury of sexy actresses or special effects or million dollar media blitzes to lure us in. And if they rely too heavily on shock or pity, they wear us down. If they express too much opinion, we question their credibility. If they cross that line between information and lecture, we tune them out. Well, the five documentary finalists that we honor tonight rose to that considerable challenge. No two were alike, except in their ability to make us pay attention. The finalists are China, The Rebirth of a Nation by Jesse and Jeremy Viverka of Brooktondale, New York. Living for 32, directed by Kevin Breslin, New York, New York. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan Band for The Common Good, directed by Jonathan Flora, North Ridge, California. Pray for Eric, directed by Ken Wyatt, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Sea Island Secrets by Michael J. Hudson of Buford, South Carolina. Stolen by Ayoleta Ayala and Daniel Falshaw of Sydney, Australia. And Tap Out by Virginia Friedman and Tim Fennell of Charleston, South Carolina. the winner of the Best Documentary of the 5th Annual Beaufort International Film Festival is Lieutenant Dan Band for the Common Good. speak. Um, but first, I just want to thank everybody, um, from Ron to Rebecca. Um, you know, you said that everything that could go wrong went wrong. Well, none of the filmmakers ever knew that. That's how good of a job they did. So thank you very much. Well, we're very honored, and we are honored to be with the other filmmakers that were, that were recognized tonight. Thank you all for all of your work as well. Uh, this film is a film about remembering, and by remembering, by giving thanks. So this award is simply to represent all those who serve, who give of themselves, who willingly would lay down their lives and, and go to, uh, to protect those who, those who walk in prison because of that. So we want to say thank you for that. Gary Sinise is someone who does that, and that's why he was the perfect person to follow, not because he ever seeks attention, but because he keeps redirecting that light of celebrity on the true heroes. And I just want to end by saying Calvin Coolidge has a great quote that says, a nation that forgets its heroes is destined to be forgotten. That's why we dedicated this film so that we do not forget. And thank you so much to the Buford Film Society also for not forgetting the heroes that this is about. Thank you so much.